Caught that fish there, guys, eight feet deep on the big bluegill head. That's actually all I've got out is a bluegill heads, which I was a little worried about. 18 and a half pounds, that's a good start. I was a little worried about it because uh, these bluegill heads haven't been frozen, but they've been in the refrigerator for a few days in a Ziploc bag. So I don't know. I guess that's all in what you consider fresh, but clearly it worked. But I come out here today, decided to come out last minute by myself. Uh, had a productive day today. Got me a fresh haircut. Got the yard mowed. Got the oil change in the car. I'll come out here, got the baits in the water about seven. I'll fish till about dark. Dark or dark 30. A little easier for me to load the boat by myself in the dark, when the, in the daylight. But I've got some chicken in the boat, it's froze. Got all kinds of these bluegill heads that are about to ruin. So that's all we got on the hooks right now is bluegill heads. If I change that, I'll let you know. But uh, if they keep biting them like that, I ain't gonna change. But anyway, I'm fishing pretty shallow. I got hooks at eight feet deep. I got one at 10 feet and I got one at 12 feet. Thermocline is not strong just yet, but all the fish and all the bait are about 15 feet and up in the water column. So we'll get this big guy back get this other rod back out see if we can't catch us another I'm going to apologize for talking so low a while ago. Seems like there's always people around, which is fine. They got just as much right to be here as I do. Just always a little bit awkward to stand and talk to a camera with people watching. But it's kind of funny, I guess. I put in back here. Literally, it's, it's 7.23. I got all the hooks in the water right about 7 o'clock. So caught that fish probably... I don't know, 7.15. So they were fishing the bank trying to catch something, crappie, bass, something. It don't happen very often, but I rolled in here like a boss and caught that 18 and a half pounder right in front of him. He fired his motor up and went up the lake. For my own uh, ego for today, I'm gonna pretend like he's mad. That's why he left. Oh, he's 
He's in that other line. Hopefully it don't cause him to get off. Yeah, I feel like I didn't even show that last fish to the camera, guys. I apologize for that. As a matter of fact, I didn't even take a picture of it with my camera. I'm going to go ahead and fix this other pole here real quick. He didn't really fight that good, but pretty good fish. There she is. Good looking fish. I'd say that's a 15, 16 pound fish. Female, little mouth. It's getting right about that time when fish should start, these catfish should start spawning. And there's a whole lot of, uh, different opinions about a lake like this most of them are wrong but if you talk to the uh, wildlife biologists for this area you'll learn that there's not enough there's not enough flowing fresh water in a lake like this for blue cats to successfully spawn they'll spawn Go through the motions, the fry will hatch, but they just don't survive. It's getting that time of year where you still have to fish them like it's a spawn. So fish don't have a meeting every Tuesday morning and say, well, I guess the spawn's not going to be successful here, so uh, we'll just go to a yard sale. They don't do that. It's They're, like anything else, they're... Uh, genetically programmed to spawn so they're going to do it so you have to fish them that way I would imagine that here in the next couple weeks a lot of your fish are going to come out of these shallow creeks 17 and a half a lot of your fish are going to be caught up in these creeks because we're going to move up in there those shallows to spawn. They stock this lake with blue cats every three years. And I want to say this is the stocking year. I'm pretty sure the last year was 20, 2021. Every three years, they put blue cats in this lake. I don't know how many. So if you catch a blue cat out of this lake, there's a 95% chance it will stop. And that's why people need to keep quit keeping them off. Because they're not they're not reproducing. But if they're fishing legal, it is what it is, I guess. But if you want your kids to keep catching fish out of this lake, you need to put them back in the water. Not to mention, there's probably more poop in this lake than outhouse anyway. I think I'll go ahead and put this rig here up because I'm getting ready to reel them up here in a few minutes anyway. <clears throat> well, yeah, I'm going to start bringing these in. I'll leave the camera running in case I get something in the process. 
Otherwise, we'll see y'all on the next go round. I wish I could leave my skin behind in this old rented room. Float my way across the great divide and be buried in you I've been looking far and wide for what I gotta prove And putting peaks in my rear view Well, it's cold